This video showcases MQTT shared subscription queuing in AWS IoT Core, including a monitoring and scaling demo. Here's what we will cover in this video. A summary of MQTT shared subscriptions in AWS IoT Core. What is message queuing for shared subscriptions? And finally, Steve will walk through an auto scaling demo using CloudWatch metrics. This diagram shows the function of MQTT shared subscriptions. Here, device is published to a standard topic. You can configure a group of subscribers to subscribe to the same topic. The broker will publish the message to one of the subscribers in the subscriber group, which is chosen at random. The publishers and subscribers can be QoS0 or QoS1 for shared subscriptions. More information about MQTT shared subscriptions can be found in the AWS IoT Core documentation. In this diagram, we show message queuing support for shared subscriptions. When messages are published as QoS1 and at least one or more subscribers are configured as a persistent session, then messages that cannot be delivered immediately to the subscribers will be placed onto the queue for that shared subscription. An example of this could be peaky traffic where you have a very high number of messages being published in from your fleet without enough subscribers to process the messages. Messages that would typically be throttled when publishing out to the subscribers will be placed onto the queue. As this queue is processed, the broker will limit the number of messages published to each subscriber to 20 per second to reduce the chance of any per client throttling. The broker will also queue the messages if all members of the subscriber group are offline. How do we extend this further? By using the AWS IoT queue.success metric, we can scale up the number of subscribers as the message queue increases and scale back down as the queue drops below the set threshold. Here we show the same shared subscription queuing but now we are monitoring the AWS IoT queue.success metric, and if the queue equals or exceeds 1,000, it will set the alarm to true and invoke a lambda, which will add two more subscribers to the shared subscription group. While in alarm state, it will check the queue every 30 seconds and add two more subscribers each time. This, of course, can be configured to fit your use case. In the following demo, the Lambda sends an MQTT message to the controller, which in turn creates the two subscribers. This is what Steve will demonstrate now. Thanks, Dan. Here's a demo based on the architecture you just saw. So in this bottom right terminal, you'll see the subscribers. On the top right terminal, we have 30 publishers, each connecting and sending a message every 20 milliseconds. So we should see, and you see here, we are exceeding the 100 messages per connection per second. The broker will start to throttle that down to about 100 messages per second per connection, which you just saw happen now. So what we're watching here in this pane is the metrics. So if I keep refreshing this, and it takes a little bit for the CloudWatch metrics dashboard to populate, but we will start to see publish in success and publish out success, but there will be a difference between these two numbers as we are publishing quicker than we are able to subscribe. So what happens to those extra messages? Because we have shared subscriptions set up and we have clean sessions set to false on the subscribers, so the sessions are persistent, so we'll start to see this queue build. Once this queue builds over 1,000, we're going to invoke this lambda, which will check the queue every 15 seconds and add subscribers to start processing that message. So as you can see, we're now up to 12 subscribers because we are in alarm mode. I'll change the time period for this. There we see. These are being processed. So the publishers have completed the run of 100,000 messages, and we're still processing the queue and adding subscribers as the queue is still over 1,000. I paused the video while this was catching up. So you can see now that we have slightly more 
than 100,000 messages. Uh, this is likely due to the feature of MQTT QS1, which is at least once delivery. If it didn't receive an ACK back, it may resend the message. Or uh, more than likely, I'm just counting the messages that were sent from the control to add additional connections. I will refresh this again shortly, but as you can see, we're publishing 100,000 messages. We've got 79,000.1 published out success with about 20,000.9 queued. This shows that the queue is working and we are processing that queue. So in conclusion, this shared subscription queuing in action boosts reliability and with CloudWatch alarms, letting you scale up or down automatically to meet demand. You can see here we had 100,000 messages published in, 100,000 messages published out, and during the process about 21,000 were queued. Thank you.